Welcome to Mountain Women Radio with your host, Tammy Treyer. Tammy is an author, writer, and integrative health practitioner dedicated to helping her listeners enjoy life and family. Listen as she shares her extensive knowledge on homesteading, off-grid living, wilderness survival, and living a faithful, simple life. Find a comfortable seat, grab your favorite beverage, and prepare to be encouraged. Hey, my friends, welcome to Mount Woman Radio. I am your host, Tammy Treyer, and today is episode number 262. And I just want to jump on here today and encourage you to keep moving forward and to not give up. It's really easy when things are out of our control, when things are co- confusing when there's a lot of uncertainty, when you're not sure which direction to go in, when you're not sure what's ahead, and when the enemy has you questioning lots of things. So I wanted to jump on and encourage you and remind you that there is a season for everything. I've been talking about it a lot on the faith-led healing side of things Uh, God, Papa, as I refer to him, led me to Ecclesiastes 1, actually. And I read from 1 to 4. And, you know, Solomon really questions in 1 and 2 the world around him, the people around him, the purpose of life. And, you know, I believe that we are all questioning the same thing sometimes. Many of us don't know our purpose. I sought my purpose for a very long time and wanted to know, you know, where God was taking me. It's a little crazy today. Um, For those of you watching me on YouTube, I'm like fighting my hair here. But as you can see, I'm in a beautiful location and you will always hear me telling you, you know, make life what you want it to be. Find places that nurture your soul. And I want to encourage you to do that today too. But Solomon was questioning all these things, questioning his purpose and God's plan even. And when you read into three, he, he heads into the seasons of life and he comes to the conclusion that we are supposed to be joyful and happy and that there's a season for everything and that we should you know drink and eat and be merry and live life and when we get in places that we're debilitated and when we follow the world and its chaos we tend to be at its pace even when we're not trying to keep up with the Joneses the world dictates a fast pace an unhealthy pace in my opinion and you know the enemy dictates the same when we are in a fast and crazed pace we are very distracted and disheveled and easily nerved and I think it's really important in order for us to keep going and to keep being happy and to keep being merry and and finding our happiness. First of all, you will always hear me saying it, you know, we're seeking things in this life and we're looking for it in people and in material things. But truly, you know, the foundational aspect of us living a good life is having our feet planted in God. You know, so if you're not in that place, I encourage you to get to that place. I encourage you to ask him to come into your heart. Ask him to forgive you. Ask him to give you wisdom, knowledge, direction, and discernment. And if you don't know how to do that, reach out to me. Podcast at mountainwomanradio.com. We need him as our foundation. We need to seek him to find clarity and And also to find the strength to keep going. You know, all of this is... Everything we do gets better with him in it. And 
you know, Solomon was very wise. And, you know, if you guys are anything like I am, I do analyze things. I do research things. I... I look for the good in life. I try to make the good in my life. And, you know, like Solomon, it's really easy to get depressed. In chapters one and two, he was very depressed by looking at the world and looking at the people. And that's really easy to do today too, right? I mean, you don't know what you're gonna find when you look around. And you don't know what each day is gonna bring. But when we, we give that to God and we put those things that we can't control at the feet of Jesus and we truly focus on um, moving forward, living our best life. You know, our, our motto has always been to help and encourage people, to inspire people, to embrace their dreams. And with the faith-led healing side of things, I'm really focusing on teaching people how to take their health and their life into their own hands we are able to do that we just need to slow it down take the reins be willing to go against the grain be willing to go against what the world dictates what people expect you know we don't have to follow suit we don't have to beat to the same drum we don't have to follow the cattle into the shoots my my friend shared an instagram reel with me and it was a whole bunch of ducks walking in a row and it says be yourself and i've been saying be you all year long and these ducks are walking and there's one in the back all the others are following suit they're all walking the exact same their wings are tucked and the one at the back is walking all over the place with its wings out and it's dancing that's me and i'm okay with that i don't need to be like everybody else i don't need to follow suit we aren't called to do that we are called to be unique we are called to be peculiar I'm that. I'll own that and I'm proud to own that because we, we are all supposed to be um, unique and who we are called to be. And sometimes that takes us slowing down, walking away from the crowds and learning to be who we were called to be, being okay with who we are, being okay with whose we are. And I think that all of those things are what enable us to live a good life and to keep going forward. Because when we're not comparing ourselves to somebody else, we're able to really hone in on who we are. I'm in a great season. I am finding such joy in being who I am called to be, in doing what God wants me to do, and not worrying what other people think. It's a powerful place to be. If you haven't gotten there yet, join me at Faith Led Healing because that's where I am really honing in on that and teaching people how to to be who they're called to be. You'll hear it here too, but we need we need to be to our own drum. So I just want to encourage you today. Today's is going to be super short and sweet, but I think the message is powerful. And if you're, you know, having a really hard time with the way things are in the world, one of the greatest things we can do is pull into God. Read his word every day. Commune with him and pray and talk. And in that place is where you find your peace. If you're looking for it elsewhere in material things or in people, you know, those things disappoint. God will never disappoint. And I imagine that there are a bunch of people that needed to hear this message today, that you're okay, that you're worthy of God's goodness, that you deserve good things. We go through seasons of life that bring trials and loss and misfortune. But one of the greatest gifts we have with Jesus is that it's, it's a steadfast love. He loves us forever and always. He will never leave us or forsake us, even when you don't feel like he's there. And the more we pull into him and the more we read his word and the more we focus on him, the more he reveals to us 
the more you will feel his, and see his presence. And the more you will be blessed. He is present in the good, the bad, and the ugly. The problem is most of the time we only seek him in the ugly. So I want to encourage you to seek him all the time and understand that there are seasons. The roller coaster ride keeps going. It doesn't stay stuck in the valleys. Focus on the good in your life. Focus on things that make you happy. Focus on creating your own happiness. Focus on slowing things down. Focus on being you and not worrying what other people think. Focus on doing what's good for you and your family, not what everybody else thinks you should be doing. And keep moving forward. If you're concerned about the world, that's valid. It's crazy right now, but we don't have to be. We just need to hold on tight to him. Glean what he's showing us. Seek wisdom, knowledge, direction, and discernment. Grab our bootstraps every day and keep going. If you are struggling because you're by yourself or you don't have the support you need, get in my community, mountainwomanradio.com slash MWR community. We are here and available to the masses. We are supporting people. We are loving on people. We are sharing our knowledge. And we are providing a place that can help keep you in a good headspace rather than where the world would like to keep us confused, stressed, depressed, worried, anxious. We don't need to be there. So just know that you're okay. Know that your feelings are valid, but know that there are people that went ahead of us like Solomon, who was wise and realizes there are seasons and that through all the seasons, we just need to relax, trust, and keep going. That's my message for you today. So keep going. If you need support, join us and get ready for another podcast next week because I'm gonna keep sharing, keep supporting, keep loving on the world and hopefully being a light in our unusual and dark world. I love you all. Have a fabulous rest of your day. And God bless. Keep going. Thank you for joining us today on Mountain Women Radio, where you can learn something new every week. We hope you enjoyed the show, and we encourage you to join us on faithledliving.com and faithledlearning.com. Be sure to connect with us on iTunes and leave a review. This will help us reach even more people. Until next time. Keep learning, laughing, and living.